<laughs> Polly knowing the region. 600 points off with no multipliers. I recently participated in Geo Rainbow's World Cup where three players from any country can represent their country and uh, take home a prize pool. So JHK, Paul, and I represent the United States and we played Serbia in the first round. And this is my gameplay from uh, the tournament. I added a voiceover explaining my team's thought process. So if you enjoy, please subscribe. Oh, and here we go. The oh. other American team, Rainbow. Our oh. arch enemies. Dude, I, 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 think we, I think we just start. So, so it looks like we have John Harvey Kellogg here, representing Team yeah. USA. They prepared themselves. They prepared the profile Oh, pictures. look, red, wine, blue. That makes sense. I just not got that. Okay. Team USA versus Team Serbia. Not an easy matchup for either team here. Round one, we spawn in here and have this wider blur in the front. So you immediately knew I was in Nigeria, um, because Nigeria's blur is a little wider than other countries. Um, and then to the north here, there's those hills, and those hills are only really going to be near Abuja. Uh, there might be some near Ibadan, but it's mainly near Abuja, especially with this like drier landscape. Um, so we all end up guessing near Abuja, and it ends up being pretty close. First round here is going to be Nigeria. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Anugu here? With this red, yeah. very so, red soil. Yeah. So. To Abuja oh, here. Abuja. It's Abuja. And it works. <laughs> there you go. Molly. They know something Slightly we don't. In the lead. Round two here, we have this little stubby antenna. Um, which is really unusual for a landscape like this, as it was obviously like North America or Canada. Um, and with these large mounds, we just assumed it was um, Canadian Park. Uh, the mounds look very much like the Rockies. Like honestly, it could be anywhere, but the tree's a little too skinny to be like in the U.S. Um, so we kind of just hedge our guesses in uh, southern British Columbia, looking at national parks, because that's usually where the antenna is. Uh, yeah, Polly guessed up there, and then uh, JHK and I end up guessing more south. Ooh, a beautiful location here. Looks like I actually think we're in the U.S. Here. I know this is yeah, a rare is the antenna US. in the U.S. And um, it was actually just yeah, Canada. You did. Here, this road with the yellow dash line and the the, the pole, it's square. It just immediately reminded me of us of Thailand. Uh, driving left as well. Um, probably immediately guesses in Chiang Mai, I think, up north in Thailand. Um, so we just end up hedging the rest of the country because it didn't necessarily, usually that part's mountainous, so we didn't want to risk all up there. Um, so I guess near Bangkok and JHK guess out east in the bulge. <laughs> Polly knowing it the region. 600 points off with no multipliers. Here we spawn with the dashed lines and the Nordic architecture. So the rocky coast and the longer dashes, you know, we're in Norway and the, it's not steep on a hill. So we assumed it was the Southern coast. Uh, it's a little risky actually, but we all end up guessing on the Southern coast. Um, yeah, okay. South, futuristic. South Norway. It, it wasn't that yep. same area as the other Norway round. Yeah. The blue team committing to that area of Norway, and it pays off for them. Here with the pink line and the yellow and black stripes, we know we're in tai Taiwan. Um, there is a number code, 05, um, basically, or 03. Um, and my two teammates thought they knew the city that was, and I them were right, actually. I ended up guessing in between them just to hedge because they were pretty confident. It ends up actually hurting us because it's a little more north, but... Serbia picking up 12 points over Team USA here, going into round 6, 4x damage. Here, immediately just the Russian architecture. Uh, I mean, it could be somewhere in Eastern Europe, but we have all white license plates, so it kind of rules out somewhere in the European Union. So we end up just kind of hedging Western Russian cities because the trees seem pretty normal, pretty Western. Although I wouldn't have been surprised if it was completely wrong. Last tournament, we got out by not guessing Moscow, so I made sure to guess Moscow here. Looks like we just have a Russia here, which is how Fat Snail did lose last tournament. So will they come yeah, back? Yeah, I wonder if Mikey will decide to go at Moscow here to not have a repeat of last tournament. It was just oh, Moscow. Yep. They, 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 they learned Snail the did go he Moscow. Learned his lesson. He learned the lesson. Here, um, the yellow dash line, uh, we assume it's Canada or the United States. And overall, uh, it just doesn't look like the United States. This is just Texas, though, isn't it? So we end up just assuming it's the Canadian Plains. Uh, so it looks a little too cold, I guess, for Canada, for the United States. I'll probably immediately guess it's Southwest Sask there. Um, so then I was just trying to fill in the rest of the spaces. I end up not really guessing where I meant to because the time ran out, but that's okay. Wow. On the border there. It is yeah, just on the border. Basically the border of Montana. Polly, the closest. Here, uh, I pan here to the east and there's the pedestrian sign with eight stripes on it. So we knew we were in Spain. Um, question was where but these palm trees look super islandy. Um, but so we thought it was Canaries. Um, I probably should have guessed the Biza. Honestly, I didn't think about it. Um, and I'm guessing the Southern coast just to be safe. And the other two guesses were put in the Canaries. Thank God that we had red team going one there and they're picking up 24 yeah. points and paid off round nine, seven X in Japan. 
Yeah, uh, this round here, uh, with this, like, orange line, uh, you know you're in Japan, it's only a Japanese road. Uh, overall, I really had no input on this round, because I suck at Japan, but, um, we were deciding between hedging and not hedging, and, uh, basically, JSG calls out Kwamoto, possibly, and I end up switching my guess from there, which you'll see, um, in a second. But, yeah, we have one in Tokyo, and one near, uh, like Nagoya, or, no, more south. Um, so JHK ends up getting Tokyo, and I was going to guess Kawamoto because that's what he's calling out. We ended up playing it more safe here and guessing up near Osaka. And Very south red team Serbia picking up pretty big points there. That's big. That's big. That's big Two points. 2k points going to Serbia. Here we have Gen 2 camera and yellow outside lines. So nowhere in South Africa. Pauli immediately guesses by Eswatini, even though he's completely wrong. Um, so we ended up hedging more uh, west. I guessed by Lesotho. I meant to guess near Bloemfontein, but kind of in the peak of the moment, I was thinking. Um... But, and then JHK luckily kind of saves us here from taking too much damage. And I actually end up winning the round, but he guesses up near, like, between Bluefontein and Pretoria. And it was actually just Botswana border. Wow, and that's 700 points. And they take the off lead. Of USA takes the, takes the lead. Here's a slightly difficult round. Uh, it kind of looks like Colombia, honestly. Um, but the sun is more south, and we have a blue Guhar, which I don't think you, which I don't think you get in Colombia. Um, so we end up just hedging Mexico. Uh, we definitely could have hedged better, but we kind of uh, didn't communicate the best, and we're running low on time. Um, but otherwise, you know, not the easiest round. Uh, I ended up guessing near Chiapas, but someone should have guessed along the eastern mountains, uh, north of Veracruz to Monterey, somewhere in there. And I don't think anyone in our team actually guessed there, except for that one pueblo guess. This is not an easy round. To, it, it, to me, it's looking like Colombia. Mm. Oh, dude, I what? totally... That's the ADW player in me that I totally forgot, Jim Forcola. Oh. It was just Mexico. It is Mexico. Horus with the closest guess with that much Oh my god, 2600! That is a tanking That's big to Team USA. Here's the last round. It was actually quite difficult. Um, we have Gen 3 with antenna and a double guardrail in this sort of Mediterranean landscape. Usually double guardrail is indicative of Italy, but with the poles and the overall landscape, we were... Thought it was Portugal, uh, Portugal or Spain, but we didn't have the yellow reflectors in the guardrail, so it was most likely Portugal over Spain. And I think uh, basically we ended up putting one in Italy just in case, because um, we didn't think we'd like lose on this round since Portugal is such a small country. Uh, we ended up putting two guesses in Portugal. Uh, I guess a little too south. That's probably my mistake. Um, and probably guess in the northeast corner. And JHK's in Italy, and it honestly ended up costing us. They only had one guess in Portugal. And I thought it could be in France as well. Is it ever poor? Could, could be. Could be. I mean, yeah, it's definitely possible, honestly. I mean, is I'm... Is this ever Italy? I'm not or, sure what else it could mm, be. No, I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is hard. Difficult round. I was gonna, and it, it does Portugal. end up being poor. Ooh, well. It's going to be so happy they sent <gasps> Taurus game. there because it literally oh, wins them God. the game. Oh, my God. Team USA out! Team Serbia advances. Wow. Hey. All wow. thanks to Taurus's guess, they win the matchup.